what's up world welcome to the positive truth uplifting positive news for a more progressive society jojo is still here so we're bringing awareness empowerment inspiration optimism, optimism and, and understanding, understanding to communities everywhere <laughs> jp how are you today my guy i'm a little chilly how are you <laughs> It is. It is left eye T boss and chili up in this bad boy. <laughs> Jojo is here as promised for this Monday, seven in for Tim Tim as we do listener questions. We finished the last three today. Before we get to that, make sure to like, like share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Rate and review helps us out so much. Helps us spread this positivity that we're spreading. We also do audio episodes every Wednesday and Friday. We talk about nothing but positive news stories. We post those positive news stories on our Facebook page at the Positive Truth Podcast. All the Instagram photos. JoJo does them. Makes us look all pretty for the Instagram. We appreciate if you follow us there. We post our videos, these videos, on our Twitter and our YouTube page. Also on Facebook. But yeah, let's get to it. Heck yeah. This is part two of the listener questions. Question number four, Jojo, you're going to love this. Here we go. It's my favorite question. What is it like pursuing your dreams? It's hard. (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. It's so hard. It's uh, what people from around the neighborhood call difficult. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, man. It's it's hard. Uh, But it's worth it, man. Like, I think, I don't know, man. It's been a, (laughs) excuse me. It's been a long time coming. I'm still in the thick of it. You're still in the thick of it. Boy. Tim's still in the thick of it. Boy. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I but think it's so that. so worth it. So yeah, much man. quitting. I think. Can you imagine if you were quit <laughs> 10 years ago? You would just feel like, I'm just going to do what I'm doing right now for the rest of my life because it's hard. I don't want to What was I doing it. 10 years ago? It's 2009. 2009. I was in the Navy. Can um, you imagine still being there? Just no. Doing it? Just, no. Just, just, I used to do it? I didn't like it. So you can you imagine? Yeah. Like, no, thanks. So it's worth it. So everything you've done since then. Yeah, so absolutely. Hard. It's been difficult. It's been a journey. Um, the cool thing is, though, it's like I've had people with me on that journey, you know, and, it, and it, I think, man, like I've been I've been like super blessed with the people that I have in my life because they know that where I'm at now in life in the thick of this fire academy, that the struggle is ultimately real. Um, and so, like, I, I have people like texting me, you know while on my school days and like calling me leaving me voicemails just like encouraging me and reminding me like this is all worth it you see know, now like, i feel bad because what i do is i just come in i'm like so how bad was a pd yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool i think i think for me man it's like my my wife god bless her soul she like she feels the the sting of my hard days you know and so like every day i get out of school i'll call her and she can tell by the way that i say hello if I've had a good or bad day. And so she'll say, hey. And I'll be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and she's like, I know she's thinking like, here we go. You know, like she's mustering up the fact that she has to be the one to give me encouragement. You know, and she does. She comes through every time. But there's like, there's good and bad days, man. I think for me, like the fun thing, like when I come here is that like those bad days are behind me, you know, and I can laugh about you know, the struggle being real. <laughs> Very and real. it prepares me to know that they, it, it like, I know that, you know, five months from now, that when I come in here to shoot this, like I have already gone through the hard part, you know, part of it. I'm going to have to go through it again once I get hired, <laughs> but let's just, <laughs> let's just act like that's not there. Um, but I know that I've like, <clears throat> I've climbed the mountain, you know, and I've had people with me, you know, you know clapping me up the whole time and encouraging me the whole time but i think man pursuing your dreams so hard everybody who i know who 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 have achieved those dreams and gone through those you know hard trials so uh, worth it they say it's worth it man you know like nothing in life is easy is worth that yeah man it's just like kind of like what we said on the last the last podcast was where it's like man like if you work hard to to achieve what you're passionate about then you know, you'll never have to work a day in your life, you know? And so that's what I'm looking forward to because I know it's real. It's not something that somebody's like dangling a carrot in front of me and saying, come on, you'll never have to work a day in your life, you know? But like, I know people who have, you know, gone through those trials 
and say, yeah, dude, it's true. Like, I'm living my best life out here. Uh, yeah, this is this is the idea I don't understand. It's like your best years are in high school and college. I'm like, <laughs> buddy, until I can like, no, until I'm on a no Disney way. cruise, <laughs> like I haven't achieved it yet. I don't know why my goal is a Disney cruise, but I just want to go on with it. <laughs> I think that's a good goal. I've never been yeah. on a cruise. I've been on a cruise before. I ain't never been on a Disney cruise. And I'm a grown man. And I plan on going on a Disney cruise so, without my kids. So, Disney, come sponsor this podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We out here. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. We'll give you a five-star review. You yeah. Cruise, so I promise. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, well, I'll be, yeah. We will record we'll do a whole cruise. podcast about Disney cruises. <laughs> Facts. Anyway. Should have been here, Tim. Sorry, you can't go. <laughs> so... I concur with what JoJo said, but I want It's hard, but it's worth it. Speaking of being worth it, the second question is, how do I balance school, work, and friends? Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go first on that. Okay, so right now, I'm actually doing finals this week, so I'll be done with them by the time you hear this, but I have eight-week courses and 16-week courses, mm-hmm. so I have midterms and finals this next week. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's the one-two punch. <laughs> Literally. I got five tests in the next three days. Woo! See, here's the thing. Like, I have I have to drive 45 minutes to class. Mm-hmm. I have to drive 45 minutes back. Mm-hmm. I have to work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I have to come here on Sunday. I'm off Tuesday and Thursday. And I have, I, before I go to, I work at night, so I have until, I guess, basically two, because I have to work out and then eat and mm-hmm. go to work. I don't have much free time, though, right? So I have to be, you have to be disciplined about it. Mm-hmm. It's tough, but if you're disciplined, it's worth it. Right. The interesting part for me was the friends part here, mm-hmm. because the friends part should be the easiest. It should be. Because your friends should be working hard too. Mm-hmm. You should be around the type of people that aren't like, "Hey, hey, hey, why are you doing homework? Yeah, let's go smoke a drink. Let's go, yeah. Hey, let's go get some like, let's go up to the club tonight. Yeah, let's, like, let's be like those people on those videos they showed us in middle school not to hang out with. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey man, homework's for losers. Let's go smoke pot. <laughs> the dare, the dare <laughs> the yeah. I let the dare drug grind down. Sorry, but like. Your friends should be working hard too, Absolutely. pursuing their goals and and pushing you to pursue yours. So your friends are going to be the people that are, they should be the people that are helping you achieve your goals, mm-hmm. and the people that are also struggling with you in school. Absolutely. So if you're going to school, you're in the same like major, or you're in the same classes in high school. Mm-hmm. You should be friends with them. So when y'all are struggling on the homework, you get on the group me account. And you're like, you hear me? How do I do right. number four? Right. And then y'all work through it. Yeah, I, th- I I I agree, man. Like I, when I went through uh, EMT school, you know, I still I'm still friends with the people that I was in school with because we had to study together. Yeah, you know, and there's like, nothing that forms a friendship like hard. Right. Yeah, I th- I think for me, like where I'm at now is, is like my friends. I don't have very many. Like, I, there's a difference between friends and acquaintances. That's for a totally different episode. <laughs> um, but my friends. You know, the people who are in my life know that, one, I have to sacrifice having fun for a while. You know, I have to sacrifice going to Thunder Games every weekend or, you know, going to lunch every day or whatever. Like, I've got work to do. And once I get to where I'm going, we can do all that all the time, you know, because then I'll have as long as as long as me being a good friend of you, you've gotten where you want to go. Absolutely. If you've gotten there, then we can do it. If you haven't, I'm going to push you. Yeah. Like, absolutely kick you off. yeah 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 i think i think for me like where personally where i'm at and where i think a lot of people you know who are even asking this question are gonna be is there's gonna be a time to where your friends are gonna have to you know be put on the back burner for a while you know going out and doing whatever it is you normally do for fun or on the weekends or whatever are gonna have to be sacrificed speaking of which <clears throat> so i have a friend we're almost the exact same age. He's two weeks older than me. Mm-hmm. Went to a different school. We lived together for a time. And we talked on January about like moving in together again. Mm-hmm. January 20th. Last Wednesday, he was like, what's up, man? How's school and everything? I text back. He texts back today. He's like, sorry for the late supply. Late reply. I've been super busy with two jobs and night classes to get my goals. Like, yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Like, that's what... That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. I know I haven't talked to you in a month, 
but it's still there. Yeah. There's a reason we haven't talked. Absolutely. Because I don't have any free time either, dog. Right. And like we talked, we were like, okay, when well, school's done in May, I have, I have summer classes in June, July, so May and August, we can get together, we can talk, we can catch up, right. we can like res- talk about, you know, living together, like pursuing, like, yeah. But until then. Until then, bro, we got to buckle down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> your friends aren't going to be like that. They're you not your gotta, friends. Yeah, you just got to cut them off. I know when you're younger, your social groups are just so much more important in your life. Newsflash. I was popular in high school. <laughs> I talked to zero people from my graduating class. Zero I, people. I talked to one. Damn. <laughs> I didn't go to... I didn't oh, go you went to the Southeast, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't talk to... And, like, I had a group of friends... Cause we just, I just did my 10 year reunion a couple years ago. And I, didn't I was even like, go. Yeah, I went just because I wanted to stunt with my wife. <laughs> you know, I want to be like, look what I got, <laughs> suckers. All you girls that dissed me in high school, you played yourself. I haven't reached my goals yet. <laughs> I, got a, I got a dope wife. But how many of them had? Like, a lot of them, like, a lot of people were struck. Like, it's yeah, hard man. to reach your goals. Yeah, yeah. 10 years after high school. But yeah, and that's, and that's the thing, though, man. Like, you hear about these groups of, groups of you know men or women who went to school together and all had the same goal like hey we're all gonna be doctors and those dudes held each other accountable for however many hundreds of years it takes to you to be a a doctor hundreds of years you know but they became doctors all at the same time because they held each other accountable and they were all they all had the same mission they all had the same goal they're gonna be friends for life absolutely they're locked in they're probably on disney cruise right now (laughs) You know, sponsored the podcast. Sponsored by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> we know you got the money. All right. In game is making you right. billions of dollars. <laughs> not to mention ESPN. Anyway. All right. Not to mention really Lion King too. When you guys in stock are shooting up next week, it's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Like school's tough. I always like like it's just consistent. Mm-hmm. You have to go to work to pay bills. Mm-hmm. And then your friends should just help you. And that's how you balance it. Absolutely. So if you can't balance, most of the time, I feel like people can't balance school and work. You just got to make time. You got to make sacrifices. And your friends should push you. That's the answer to the question. Right. Okay. Last one, JoJo. All right. I'm ready for this. Where do babies come from? Well, um, I don't know still. So. Says so the father of two. The actual question is, how can we help our school community become better? You just, I mean, you got to lead by example, man. Um, You just got to do one thing. One thing. What is this one thing that you are speaking of? So if if everyone does one thing a day to make their community better. Oh, yeah. The whole world's a better place. Absolutely. So we do this podcast to Mm -hmm. spread positive news because there's a lot of fear mongering going on with the news cycle. Yes. Like, oh, the magnet poles are shifting, so the world's going to end. That's why it's so cold right now where we're at. I need answers. <laughs> you need answers on why it's so cold. Uh, because global warming is not real. Climate change. It was cold. It was warm yesterday and it's or cold like, today. Or like we're doing this podcast because like immigrants are bad people. Or, yeah. or, or just like just stop the fear or stop the hatred. Yeah, absolutely. Bring, bring people together. If your thing is, okay... I'm really good at drawing. Mm-hmm. So, are you really good at drawing? Because this is the second time you've brought up. Drawing. I'm actually really bad at drawing. <laughs> at work, yeah. I wrote names down because you know you got to check. Uh, you have to assign people clothes out uh-huh. to you. Like work, like nobody knows whose name you wrote. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> what is this? I'm like, I'm sorry, I do math all the time. I'm right. really good at writing X, Y's, and Z's and numbers. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you I can do barely it. do my own name in cursive. All right. You need a graph. I'm your guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, X Y N Z plane. I yeah. got you. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I agree, man. I think so. so we do, we had football factory yeah. on. They were really oh, yeah. soccer, mm-hmm. so they do free soccer clinics, bring the community together. That's Absolutely. what they do. Absolutely. Six a.m. I ain't getting up six a.m. for nothing, but that's what they do. Right. We had the the shine on here mm-hmm. where they were just students doing one thing. Mm-hmm. So if you do, if everyone does one positive thing in their community each day, yeah, man. And that looks that looks like a different that looks like different stuff you know to different people, you know we uh 
I was a part of a group that we would go out once a month and just everybody get all the lawnmowers they owned and they would just ride around, you know, a neighborhood and just cut everybody's grass for free. You that's know, awesome, right? That's it, you know, and that was just something that we took one day a week, uh, one day a month for four or five hours and just, you know, cut a whole bunch of yards and then had a barbecue after. Awesome. You know, there's there's different things. Build, that you, build yeah. community, right? And it's something that you you can do something that you're passionate about, you know, to and enhance up, the lives of others. Meet other people you're passionate about. Which Absolutely. are going to be good friends, which are going to help push you to your goal. Gentle the first place. Probably got, hey, full circle here at the Positive Truth. <laughs> full circle. This is how we do these things. Room. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. I, I think for me, like, I had a goal. I set a goal for myself, like, probably about six or seven years ago. Um, that if I could make at least one person smile. A day? A day. Then I've made the world a better place. But that day. You know, and that's just a personal goal that I set for myself. Now, that person may or may not be one of my kids or my wife or, you know, if I'm just at home all day. But like I've turned a whatever situation into a positive situation, a good situation or a good environment to be to be in, you know. And so I think for me, man, it's like <clears throat> I try wherever I go to put a smile on somebody's face. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it backfires. But that doesn't discourage me from going to try the next day or try again later on that day. Um, because I think, I think you know, I have a, a friend who wasn't always my friend. She was a leader of mine. And I hated when she said this all the time because I didn't want to hear it because I used to be a negative person. But she says, smile. Smiles release endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. And I was like, yeah. I don't wanna, super cheesy. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. But, like, now it's like, Oh yeah, like I've seen the power of you positivity. know positivity in in telling jokes and you know just being you know putting a smile on somebody. Patch Adams, you know what I'm saying? Uh, laughter is healing, you know. And so I think, man, like for me, in a in a world that's so filled with toxicity and, and negativity, especially in the fields of social media and just where we are in the world today, like if I can put a smile on somebody's face. Like their day is made, my day is made, and we can continue moving on in positivity. So. Absolutely. So take your passion or skill, whatever you're passionate in, whether it's lifting weights, cutting hair, drawing. I just want to throw that out there. Right. Use that to make the community community better. Then actually talk to people. Like talk to your friends. Talk to people. Like instead of posting a social media post about how awful your day was, like, hey, how can we make our community better? Right. You'll. People will reply. Smile at somebody, man. Hold the door open for somebody. You're good. Say good morning. You know. <laughs> yeah, we gotta work on that. You know? I, I am the worst of the highs and buys. I, I am too. I think it's just awkward, you know, because it also doesn't get reciprocated a lot of times. So <laughs> then you're the only person saying good morning to this disgruntled old man, and he ain't trying to hear. It, but hey, man, it's not gonna knock me down. I'm gonna try again. You know, with somebody else later on. So then. You do. You take your passion. You make the community better. You meet other people that are passionate about it. They are inspired by your leadership. Full circle. Mm -hmm. Man, we out here, baby. I'm just gonna do circles on this screen. Look, I'm be crazy. Everywhere. <laughs> circle, circle, circle. Oh, look, that's a Disney sponsoring our podcast. <laughs> a Mickey Mouse. Anyway, <laughs> that's great. But uh, you do one thing. You meet other people, and then all of a sudden, you made your whole community better. Absolutely. Even if you inspire just one more person to go out and do some positive community, it's all it takes. True. It's just small steps. Baby steps. No one person can do everything, but everyone can do something. So Ooh. That's my favorite was quote. That, was that the quote? <laughs> Yikes. That was good. Say that one more time for the people. No one person can do everything, but everyone can do something. <laughs> As Tim would say, bars. Yeah. Do have it. <laughs> and we are through with our questions Tim will be back next episode we're going to do our favorite positive news stories in March and Jojo is prepared to take Tim's job saying the positive quote hard work <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> alright I don't know who wrote this but there's a very happy Caucasian woman underneath this quote She's in, in nature, so that's probably why she's happy. Is that my wife? No, I was kidding. Why would I edit that out, Jen? Nope. <laughs> nope. My wife loves nature and she's happy in it. <laughs>
It's the facts of the matter. All right. A positive attitude gives you power over your circumstances instead of your circumstances having power over you. Take that to the bank and deposit it into a CD, which will accrue interest over a set amount of time. And then you put money in, you get more than you put in out. It's crazy how that works. The positive economics is now through. <laughs> oh, well, with the positive truth. We appreciate everyone listening and listening to our listener questions. Keep sending them in. We'll keep doing it. Until next time, we're out. Stay positive. Yay!